Dirt Jimmy Gang, the Army, the Navy, the Unstoppable. Welcome back to another video with your guy, Gemini by Law, man. Listen, we about to get to another situation where it's just like, why? Why? Why I had to go like that? Why I had to happen like that? Why niggas had to get bah, bah, bah? Like, one of them, bro. So pay attention. Stay tuned, man. Rock with me. Gangsta rap and gridiron glory. A father battle to protect his legacy. This sound crazy, man. I know one thing. I'm not a father yet, bro. But when I become one, I'm for sure going to do everything in my power to protect my legacy. Which I'm sure y'all would too, right? Some of y'all out there fathers already. Let's keep it up in. Y'all been making babies. All right, let's get right to it. We ain't going to waste too much time, my boys. Let's go. Shout out to the family for the video. Family feels. He, he, he raps. His, his rap name is Tut Tarantino. If you ever listen to some of his raps, I'm like, oh my God, where does this come from, son? You grew up in a gated community your whole life. Bro, this is mad funny because I recently saw DJ Academics react to that video. And then he starts showing videos of this nigga's son. This nigga son think he a full-fledged gangster. Nigga son think he a shooter. Nigga son think he a ooter. And he get the oo in. That's what he think, bro. But we know he was raised in the burbs. He was raised around millions. He probably like lived in a five to seven bedroom house, a mansion. Uh, to choose from, I think. One of the first ones would be the first day that I got appointed. There is a massive manhunt underway across the mid-state right now after two Laverne police officers were shot at a Dollar General today. The suspect is John Drake Jr., the strange son of Metro Nashville Police Chief John Drake. Before breaking news alert. Have a update on that police shooting today in Laverne. Metro Nashville Police Chief John Drake confirms the man accused of shooting two Laverne police officers this afternoon is his estranged son. It's day two of the search as they continue looking for the man accused of shooting two officers in Laverne. It was so many I stopped counting. Rachel Demery says she saw it all from her front window and minutes later. That's when some my daughter called and said that there was two police officers shot. I said oh my goodness but she's been I was trying to listen to the news then a alert came on the phone the alert came on the tv and they were saying that he was still out at large i can only assume each and every last one of us as parents want the best for our kids growing up and even after but at this point i think we all came to the conclusion life don't always work out as planned but on some occasions we raised the eyebrow like how does that happen one example is seeing a child of a multi-millionaire Hall of Fame, world-class football player, and still chose rapping as your profession and rapping about a lifestyle that you didn't grow up in. It gets so bad that your father air you out on national television. M. Smith, that's the kind of music I listen to. I think because I'm so big and black and hard, they think I listen to all the hard stuff. But you don't listen to rap? I do. I do. My son, my son raps. His name is Tut Tarantino. Wait, what? My son, right? He, he's, uh, What's his name? He, he raps on the Tut Tarantino. His real name is Elijah Irving. Okay. But listen. <laughs> and then he said his real name is Elijah Irving. My son. Yes, my son. But he raps, though, under Tut Tarantino. Why does he rap like this? I don't know. He didn't grow up in the streets. He didn't grow up like that. Bro, clear example, bro. It's the same thing on two different sides of the fence. But at least his son chose to rap and not go out and be popping niggas. This other nigga's son who a cop decided to go out shooting niggas. Get this out, get this out. I swear, if you go on the iTunes and listen to him, he raps about some of the hardest stuff <laughs> in the world. This money on me, I think I want to fuck with Benjamin Franklin, Grant Jackson. These niggas said I get money to cap it. Living your habit with more than the average. Say to him, son, you grew up. Yo, he make drill music, bro. His son make drill music. 20,000 square foot gated <laughs> community home. I'm fucking this stuff. Where does this stuff come from? You know what I mean? Your you son know? is using your childhood to oh rap about. Oh my God, right. I worked hard to get you out of this, and you rapping right back to me. Bro, no cap. I, I, bro, 
I would feel a way, my nigga. Yo, the goal for me, bro, is to make it out the hood, bro. That's the goal. I do not want to have to raise my kids in the hood because I know they're going to become a product of the hood just like me. So I don't want to raise my children in the hood, bro. <coughs> you mean to tell me I could meet that goal, make it successful, have my kids living in a great home, good neighborhood, good schools and all that. And then my son going to want to go back and be a drill rapper. I smack, I smack dog fire out that little nigga. You hear me? For sure. Bro, over my dead body, little nigga. Now let's talk about another example. Imagine being a police chief for a district. You've been working on that force for 33 years. You got a son. He's your junior in that same district where you are a chief for not even a year. Bro, he probably been a cop longer than his son been living. He been a cop longer than his son been living. 33 years, nigga. I ain't 33, nigga. Most people watching this video ain't touched 33 yet. Nigga, that's a long time, bro. He been a cop that long. That's his career. And then his son come out and popping off at poly. Bro, you know he got to feel away. That's embarrassing. Embarrassing. Yeah, he's involved with shooting two cops actually down right here in front in the grass and they saw another officer who was airlifted now, i wanted to show you earlier today we spoke with a mother and daughter who have come and put these balloons up they say they want to tell these officers to have a speedy recovery and also to know that they're supported we now know those two officers have been identified as ashley bullajack and he popped a female and a white boy god damn this is a menace Gary Kern. One had a gunshot wound to the groin and forearm, and the other had a gunshot wound to the rear left shoulder. At last check, Bola Jack was released from Vanderbilt yesterday, and Officer Kern remained in stable condition. Now that example you guys just saw happened within the last 24 hours, with the suspect still being on the run going into day two. Now this is the thing, family. Imagine working hard for something all your life, or somebody you love dearly jeopardize it all. We can't control everything, but that's the situation we have here today. So before we go over this one, remember, family, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like. Y'all know I give you the angle. I give you the story. I come through, I tell you to eat fruit. Listen, make sure you like the video. Smash that subscribe button if you're new around here, because I know if you've been here already, you ain't no goofy. If you've been here before, you done smashed that subscribe button by now. You rocking with your boy. Let's go, man. Come, man, and subscribe. We'll jump right to it. After 33 years on the force, in 2022, John Drake was promoted to chief of Nashville, Davidson County Police Department. Drake, a proud graduate of East Nashville High School, class of 1983. MNPS has been critical uh, to my life. Uh, my entire School career, I walked to class uh, every year except for the seventh grade where I caught the bus. Uh, my father uh, was blind. Uh, my mom was disabled, so I didn't have the traditional way of learning. Um, I had to come home and read my assignments to my father, and he would help me with my uh, education. If it had not been for my education with MNPS, I wouldn't have finished with high honors. I wouldn't have been uh, the scholar athlete uh, that I was. I won fellowship, a Christian athlete of the year. I won the Civitan Honor Award. Uh, I graduated uh, uh, with the uh, term of most outstanding. And uh, I went on to college and I finished. Now, family. Now, listen, bro, this sounds like a, a hardworking black man, bro. All jokes aside, for real. He's a cop, bro. He chose a career. He stuck with it. He decided to do what he did. But listen, you got the niggas in the street. We doing what we, 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 well, I don't do that no more. I don't do dumb, dumb stuff like that no more. But you got the niggas in the street on one side. You got the police on one side. You can't be mad at the police for doing what they supposed to do. That's their job, nigga. The street niggas got to do a better job at not getting caught. That's it. For real. But he did all that, bro, for his son to turn around and be a menace, bro. That's crazy. Like, was you raising your son right at home? I got questions. It's John Drake Jr. That's his son. It seems after all the hard work his father put into being the position he's in now, concerned neighbors are now questioning his job. Some even questioning would he aid his son to avoid capture. And as days go by, the longer his son avoid capture, the more that assumption go into other people's heads. 
But of course, I did my homework. According to Davidson County Criminals Court clerk records, Drake Jr.'s criminal history date back to 2005. He was first charged with theft of $500 or less. He was arrested on October 31st, 2005. A little less than a year later, his case was dismissed on August 3rd, 2006, according to CCC records. On January 29th, 2009, he was found guilty of aggravated R family. Yes, R of a lesser charge, according to CC records. Since then, according to CC, nigga got convicted of aggravated R. Nah, how you sweep that under the rug? I don't care who your daddy is. Records, he's been found guilty of three different S offenders violation on the following dates. Bro, this nigga's a predator. He been found guilty on three <laughs> different <coughs> S charges, bro. <coughs> so outside of him popping his pistol off at the police, he also a sex offender, bro? November 29th, 2015, May 9th, 2019, May 22nd, 2020. He has also been found guilty of the following charges on the following dates. Driving with no license, November 20th, 2006, domestic bodily injury, February 22nd, 2007, aggravated burglary, resisting and evading arrest, July 25th, 2007, assault of domestic bodily injury, criminal impersonation, October 16th, 2007, possession of casual exchange, August 6, 2015. Despite his son's criminal history, Chief John Drake was appointed as Nashville 8th Chief of Police. But why would his son history have have something to do with his promotions though why would we stagger his promotion he don't work hard for this this black man did his thing yeah his offspring is out here messing up but what that got to do with his career like i don't i don't feel like he should not get what he's supposed to get if he working hard for it because his son november 30th 33 years after being on the force this is officer Ad bro look at the president's son did y'all see the did y'all see uh junior y'all seen junior dog that nigga out here burning krills, nigga. Y'all here smoking krills, nigga. Smashing prostitutes that be on krill, bro. All that, bro. Come on. You just don't try. Don't come at this black man. Stick to the left and Officer Gregory to the right. Those two officers were shot at a Dollar General in the city of Laverne. Thankfully, they survived. It was Pop the police at a Dollar General? I'm surprised you made it out of that, bro. I done seen video. I done reacted on this channel to videos of niggas. Losing they, they life over at a dollar, dollar General. I might have deleted them videos now because, you know, YouTube don't be liking that. But yeah, bro, I'm surprised he made it out of that. Niggas don't usually make it out of a Dollar General after doing, after doing something like that. Saturday afternoon, <coughs> it just passed. Just 20 miles southeast of Nashville. Moments later, Drake Jr. was held responsible according to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. They issued a tweet around 11.42 p.m. on October 21st, 2023. It had a picture of Drake, allegedly, and what he was wearing. It stated that he was wanted. Drake is considered armed and dangerous. He's 38 years old, 5'11", weigh about 100 oh, and... Oh, I cap. He old. He almost 40. That nigga about 40, nigga. You supposed to be out the streets years ago. Get out the street, but you touching 30, like... You over 30, bro. You supposed to be out the streets eight years ago. Nigga, what's wrong with you? Five pounds. Black hair, brown eyes. He was last seen in Laverne in the area of Stone River Road near Lake Forest Drive wearing a black t-shirt with a hockey mask graphic. Now, what's going on day two? He still haven't been found, but the police chief had made his statement. Check it out. There is a massive manhunt underway. Now, I want to see what he got to say about this, bro. I ain't even going to lie. This is a peculiar situation to be in. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your son done popped off on the police and you the police. Like, how's that morning meeting gonna go? It's a mid-state right now after two Laverne police officers were shot at a Dollar General today. The suspect is John Drake Jr., the strange son of Metro Nashville Police Chief John Drake. Right now, we have crews in Laverne where that manhunt is still happening. And we were also at Vanderbilt Medical Center where one of the officers was just released from the hospital. So let's start in Laverne with our own Sharon Dankwa, who's joining us live now. Sharon, you've been talking to people who live nearby. What are they saying tonight? Well, Lydia, a woman who lives just feet away from the Dollar General told me she looked outside of her window and saw police running up to the store with guns. You can still see the scene behind me. They came in siren after siren from more than five different agencies. 
police officers rushed in from all directions to this Dollar General on Stones River Road. It was so many, I stopped counting. Rachel Demery says she saw it all from her front window, and minutes later... That's when some my daughter called and said that there was two police officers shot. I said, oh, my goodness, but she's then I was trying to listen to the news. Then alert came on the phone. The alert came on the TV, and they were saying... You know them old people gonna have them alerts on. I got the alert on the phone. You know them old people gonna have them alerts on their phone, bro. You could depend on an old person to tell you what happened up the street, down the street, wherever the blocks that you ain't know. Oh yeah, I just got it on the phone. Come here, let me show you. Yo, listen, trust me, I know. That he was still out at large. Police say license plate readers in Laverne picked up a stolen car at this Dollar General. So officers went to the scene to check it out. Our officers were investigating a stolen vehicle. During that investigation, they had... Bro, this nigga's a GTA character, bro. He done stole a vehicle, popped up two cops. He got charges, three S charges, bro. Nigga got at least four or five stars in the game right now, bro. I'm tacked with a and subject. he on a run. Uh, they struggled with that subject, and during that struggle, the suspect produced a handgun and fired shots. Officers say 38-year-old John Drake Jr. shot two officers, one in the shoulder and the other in the groin, and ran off. And I was just like, wow, I've never seen anything like this. I've been here all these many years. He shot two police officers, and they was able to get away. I started looking around. I checked the bag. Check the cops got a pool, got the, up under the deck. Tonight, Metro Police Chief John Drake confirmed the suspect is his estranged son. In this statement, he says he's shocked and saddened to hear that his son is a suspect in the shooting, and his thoughts and prayers are with the two officers. He adds, despite the efforts and guidance, his son turned to crime many years ago and is a convicted felon. He says he hasn't been a part of his life for quite some time and needs to be found and held accountable for his actions today. That's unreal. Police spent hours searching for Drake Jr., blocking off roads, checking cars, searching with helicopters and dogs. There's still a shelter-in-place warning for people in the area. Praying for the officers, and I'm very happy that they're... Bro, he said he haven't been a part of this dude's life for years. When did it all go wrong? Like, was you a part of his life growing up? Like, why did... I don't want to blame the officer, bro. I don't. I'm just wondering, like, how did this dude turn like this? Is it just something in his genes? You know, you can't really... Sometimes crazy come out of nowhere, bro. Let's keep it a band. Not anything was life-threatening. Now, the suspect, John Drake Jr., is considered armed and dangerous, and that shelter-in-place order is still in place for people in this area. Police are asking if you see or hear anything to call them. Lydia. Okay. As we wrap this up, we do want to send love and prayers to those officers, hoping and praying for a speedy Word, man. Speedy recovery to them officers, bro. And to this cop, who his son is a menace, bro, I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, I hope they don't judge you by this, bro. I hope you can keep on remaining and have a great career. Because it looked like you legit, man. And you've been legit for years doing what you're supposed to do. So, I'm going to end this with that. Jimmy Gang, I'm going. I'll see you on the next one. I hope they find, dude. I hope they find Drake. Not the Drizzy Drake who we like the music from. But this menace, this predator. You know what I'm saying? I hope they find him. You know what I'm saying? Get that nigga what he deserve, bro. Jimmy Gang, I'm going. I'll see you in the next one, my boys. Eat fruit. Eat apples, pineapples, all the good stuff. Stay healthy. Drink water, my boys. I'm gone.